I grew up in a very rural, small British town, well, village really, and um, my mother was an art teacher and an artist, and one of my sisters is a dancer, and the other sister is a fashion designer and now artist, so it was a very creative environment. My father lived in Denver, so I grew up with this, like, you know, awareness of different cultures from the minute I was born. The government, the church, a large pharmaceutical corporation, they uh, have very strong voices in today's world. And they have strong imagery that's all around us. And I think sometimes it's so pervasive, we don't understand how strong it can influence us. And I love what Isaac's work does, is he takes those images and he subverts them back and puts it, makes us question things. <laughs>of recycle propaganda is taking this very like black and white propaganda viewpoint of certain issues and recycling it into something that's more ambiguous and into something that involves thought or debate or conjecture. His work is it's aesthetically appealing but it also has a message as well so it invokes that thought within the viewer. Most of my concepts begin with a phrase that I write down on my phone, or something that I see on the news, or something I see in society. Once I have that, and I've almost released that design, or sort of the, you know, society, based off that and my personal preferences, I then decide which digital designs move forward. Well, this design was originally noted as surveillance constructs conformity on my phone. Now, this came from watching a news piece on Democracy Now! regarding surveillance and how it's constructing this nation of people that are fearful of doing anything because they're always being watched. So I was trying to come up with the concept to sort of visualize the conformity that comes from surveillance. And I thought, what says conformity more than a gun? Because a gun is designed to make people conform. So I thought, well, if I can combine a CCTV camera and a gun, I think that perfectly represents what I'm trying to achieve here. I took the elements from the CCTV camera and the gun and combined them and basically that's as far as the design went. The reason I liked the outcome of this is because it doesn't tell you whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe that's CCTV protecting society or maybe it's imposing on society. But whatever the meaning, it makes you bring up and question and assess the level of surveillance in your home, in your country, and that to me is the important thing. And then my digital designs end up being uh, t-shirts, such as this one. Start with a blank canvas and, and create what he does is, is, uh, is definitely impressive. Ultimately in life, I think you need to ask yourself just two questions. What kind of world do you want to live in and what are you passionate about? Answering these questions is the difficult part. The action is natural. The action is built up inside of you for years. It's ready to come out. Imagine this action on a global scale. Imagine what we could achieve.